game time. Rise and don't fall. Now people like always check out my music. Left and right, top and below, check out my music. I talk cool in my cameras. I don't be yelling and aggressive like that. Understand? Now this one called living by yourself and playing the field. Now when you live by yourself as a man and you playing the field and you don't have no woman with you, there are going to be women that want to stick with you. If you're young and you have a car that's on jewelry around your neck, around your wrist, and you have a good cash flow, working or hustling, you have to know how to conduct your thing and you have to monitor your apartment. It's really serious because when you play in the field, you're going to meet strippers. That don't, these girls are not going to tell you that they're actually strippers. These girls are going to be soldiers. Not, they are not going to tell you they're soldiers. Some of them might be police officers and they're not going to tell you they're police officers. Some of them are going to be thieves, but they're not going to tell you they're thieves. Some of them belong to maybe a client woman, but they're not going to tell you they're client woman. Understand? And they might be working for someone else. So you have to have your uh, everything monitored. So the moment they start to text you, you have to monitor the text the girl is sending you. Understand? Because a lot of you dudes hustling and doing things, I've not noticed some girls use slick words at you, but you don't realize that she connect to something else. Because most women that you you going to um, date and kiss, they belong to somebody else. And sometimes the military themselves give their woman duty to have your baby and put you up on child support. So when you play in the field and you're living by yourself, you got to watch out for the arrows and the things that are going to trap you. Because a lot of dudes like myself um, looking at the big booty and the pretty face. But we do not know why this woman is talking to you. She, you might have everything going on, but they, they might know that you're going to be at that location and they come there to do that. Because we're living in our country where the, the woman then will get order to, um, to have your baby and trap you. This is why a lot of dudes on child support. And a lot of them caught up in a lot of things. And some of these women that you're dating them and talking to, they will just talk to you to pick fight with you to call the police on you. So when you live by yourself as a man or as a young G, and no matter what race you are, you have to monitor the woman them that you're talking to. You understand? And if you controlling your 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 rent and you're playing your car notes and all that, not every female that you meet. You must um, bring them to your house. Some, some of them, you just got to take it to the hotel. Because this is what a lot of dudes do in the hood. In the hood, they because they live by themselves and they have a good job and they got to go on, every girl they meet, they bring them to the crib. The only type of girl you bring to your crib is that she interested. You understand? When I say interested, she got everything going on for her. You understand? But when you do that, you got still have to watch her to see what she going to show you. Because all of them show you something that they're hiding. Sometimes they show you through their words, and we all know that through their actions, which is their behavior, you got to monitor those things with them. Because when you're monitoring those things, it will save you from getting going child support, getting trapped, and get locked up, or get caught in a fight. And some of these women, now will come to your crib, and they will plant guns in your crib. And you might think no gun no in the crib, and they will call the cops, you piss them off, and probably just a setup to set you to jail to send you to jail. And then suddenly you'll you'll get a um a, a call or a knock, boom, 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 and the police until it open your door, suddenly police all over your apartment, they find gun in there. You do not know where the gun come from. Them cops ain't gonna tell you that um them cops not gonna tell you that um they put the guns there, because maybe the cops behind it, and them group of people that um send in um those girls towards you was to, 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 to trap you and send you away. Understand? So you have to monitor that. And then police not going to believe you. That is not your gun because they find it in your apartment. These are some of the things that people in the ghetto worldwide are in every race face. You understand? So these are some of the things you got to gotta monitor. Man. And sometimes they want to knock you off as a man. And they will, have met, they will let you uh, meet the girl and you know, you get start on date. When I said they will make you meet the date, wherever you hang, you know that, that's where they're going to be at. And they're going to look just as how you want your woman to be. Because before they do that, they're going to study what type of woman you like. Understand? And so, here are some ways you could also get crippled. That girl with all the dominoes. 
Understand? I don't want to miss the company, but these are some of the ways that them does. And then, then they know what you eat. Understand? And then suddenly, you eat in that, and then you pass away. Understand? But that girl was a part of that because she was the one going to call the, 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 the dominance. That goes for um, burger, like for like McDonald's, goes for um, sandwich, the same thing. Anything you like, that girl go into it. So here the thing now. When you are with a woman, watch out for the things that you like. And she start to do it. This is where she revealing herself. Understand? You got to make sure you, you, you check that. <laughs> so if, like, you want Heineken, I didn't know you drink Heineken. Understand? You want to say, huh? What do you mean Heineken? Oh, you know I drink Heineken and I don't tell you what uh, I, I drink. Oh, you like, you like, um, you like jerk chicken and, and, uh, um, and, 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 and rice and peas right away like that. They're going to know exactly what you order. So she go might be ordering that for your ass. And then when you drink that, you're crippling and passed away. You understand? So these are some of the things you have to watch out for. Why I do this video? Because these are some of the things they do to me, boy. Man, I end up in a hospital like that also. Foolish me. Invite a girl to my crib. She ordering exactly what I'm like. And, 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 say, and she pretending like she like the same thing like me. But I didn't realize that she's, she's attached to other group of people. And that group of people tell her exactly what I like. And what um what I do not like, and then she order exactly what I like, and so wow, well, make it seem like we connect together, and we not really connect together. She just playing our world to get rid of you. The trained woman never do that. You understand? So the ghetto need to wake up to that, especially if you're pimping it by yourself. You have your apartment going on. You understand? These are some of the things. Not every woman you bring home, man. You understand? You gotta follow that rule, man. Not every one of them you bring to the crib. No matter if she couldn't be banging, have everything, you know, take them to the motel and load it, learn their ways first before you introduce them to your home, because that is a very dangerous thing you're doing. Letting a strange woman inside your house, boy. You understand? And you must always monitor the food part. That is most important. Most important, you got to monitor the food part. Monitor the drinking. And you know where they get you at, too? They will get you at, um, like, the, the latte, like far as them fast food restaurant. They will have one day waiting for you. And I said, oh, I want to buy it. She, she might be like, I want to buy some latte. And then you might want to go get the latte too. You understand? So you drink latte? And then she try to post it on the, oh, you know, and then you go to the latte. Or you, what you what you eating? And then, you know, you probably say, well, let me get two donuts. I'll probably get a little burger. You understand? Or a little sandwich or something by the side or some hot cup of coffee. You understand? But that person, they're waiting because that girl uh, uh, offer to go there. So once they're making offer, you must, huh? If they say, um, let's go to McDonald's on his side. Be like, nah, I'm not going to McDonald's on his side. Take her to another one. You understand? If she said, let's go to Starbucks up on um, Jamaica Avenue, you must say, nah, I'm not doing no Starbucks on Jamaica Avenue. Listen, how about I buy and I make you the cup of tea? You got to know how to play the game. Because the, the lot of things that we face in our hair powers within our heart and our, our, on our lungs and our chest plate and our kidney, and those pretty girls that you mean, man, that's what they be doing. They be getting out of the knock us You understand? And a lot of the, um, the people them that have um, cars and the money and have a good job going, this is, this is how some of them be dying. And you know who they catch a lot with that? They catch the white boys them with that, and they catch the black people them with that, and they catch, matter of fact, they catch all race with that. Understand? This is a way they knock you off. So when you're living by yourself and plenty free, you gotta watch out for a lot of things. And the next thing too, when you in the streets, are you after work? Are you partying? Or however you do it, wherever you hang out at, you watch the girls and that you meet. Monitor them straight forward. Understand? Cause this can cause a lot of problem, man. And this and another way they used to they come in and pick fight and call police on you. This is what another thing I noticed they do. And, and another thing too I see happening to me back then was um, they flaunt themselves. Anyone flaunting, you pay attention to the flaunter. Pay attention to the teaser. Pay attention to the command strum. Pay attention to the easy access. Pay attention to the um, uh, happening too sudden. You understand? Pay attention to that heavy man. And the ones who work and don't hustle, yo, you gotta, the ones who work and hustle, you, you are a target, but you do not realize you are a target. You understand? And it depends on the ranking you have. And um, the next thing you have to also monitor um, the, the, the people in that they know. And never, ever, just meet a female and go show up at a place like that. Don't do that. You do not know what should be loud up and what they plan for you, especially if you got enemy. Don't just meet her and then go sleep up at a place like that. You didn't take it to the hotel or you bring her to your place. 
But once they see in your house, it's totally different thing. But the best thing to do when they left them and and um and, and uh, what they call it, left them and go back to your crib. That means she come, she check you, and then you you drop her back off or you move her ass back to where she is. What you need to do is check your apartment. Just turn it over, and then the next thing you must do when you do that, check your cars. Because sometimes there's these females are sent to set you up. Then you have the other ones that who ain't gonna do that. They just want some relationship. They want the love and the boyfriend and the and the husband and the wife. They 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 did. They, they're not gonna set you up. This is why you have to look for that. One of the ways now to look for a good girl is to look at the family. Look at the family, look at the mother, look at the father, look how she grew up. Understand? I'm not saying some girl that grew up bad, not going to have a, a good heart and looking for a relationship or, or looking for someone to settle down with. But if you check the whole majority of society, most women raise their children by themselves. So the relationship not really working out like that. So when you get into a relationship and you know you're on your own chilling and, and playing the field, you got to have an eye opener. This eye opener is can save yourself. I'm telling you, man, it, it saved a lot of self, man. Because I, I used to live back in the, um, in, the, in, the, in the early days by myself, man. I learned so much, man. So much, man. You could get killed living by yourself, dealing with female, especially you're playing the field. You understand? And if you're dealing with more than one woman, after a while, you have to tell them. You have to let them know, listen, you are not the only one. Can you already get the, the, the vagina already? You already have her soft up. Yo, tell her before she catch you. Understand? Either you break it off. Don't just ignore them and hurt their feeling. They're calling you. You ain't picking up to them like that. Don't do that. That's a bad thing we most of us do, man. We have the um the female week and have our all us and she she thinks she's in love and you know she coming over. You ne she never see her with no one. You're maintaining your game. She don't see the text on your phones. Then you know you 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 balance on time. After a period of time. Yo, don't keep her in the dark, man. Tell her. Write a letter and explain it to her. That's the best way. If, listen, the best way to do it is write a letter explaining to her. And if she call you, then you know then she, she done with the G game. Understand? So once she done with the D, D game now, you make you, you make appointment and be like, yo, listen, I don't know how long you're going to last. If she confess and say she don't mind you having no other girls, then this is where you have to be watching yourself right. So if, if, you, if you could score five of them, and four of them um, agree with you, like you know, he with that girl and that girl, you, you're on your gameplay. You understand? These are some of the things you got to know. But when you leave it in the open and have her believe she's the only one, she might pop up at your crib or she might catch you at a party. She might catch you at the bar. She might meet up in the streets and it turns to a hell damn war game in the goddamn streets. You understand? So we, are, we as the men have to man maintain the way we deal with women. We have to maintain the way we deal with um, society, and we have to maintain how we let people see us. Understand? Because when you play in the field, you, you open up to a, 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 a jungle of animals and insects and all sorts of different creatures and demons and devils. You understand? So this is why you got to look out for them. But to find an angel within the demons and the devil's own, yo, that's a hard task. Because they're all under control. You understand? And everything I said to you in this video is something that I experienced myself because I used to play the field hard. If you think I'm playing, yo, some of these ideas that I also put in this video is I learned them from my friends then because my friends are always playing the field when we're coming up as a young boy from school day till now. So I'm telling tell you a lot of black men, a lot of white men, and Indian men, and everyone that living by themselves that play the field, you gotta watch out for the demons, devils. And the snakes and the rats and all the cats them and pay attention to the situation because these things that you think is in love with you they might not be in love they just come to knock you up understand so when you think you're making you look out for the girls who slacking all right people check this out yahoo me do google me everybody left and right check out my music and pass my video all right peace